New Jersey is the only state with county freeholders. In other states, they're county commissioners. Here, all 21 counties have boards of freeholders, a centuries-old English term for someone who owned land without debt. In the American colonies, only freeholders could hold public office. The number one question we get asked, you know, what is a freeholder? And I always say a freeholder is as a municipality has a town council, a county has a county council, and that's what the Board of Freeholders are. This is where the nine-member Board of Chosen Freeholders meets. Voters elect them to staggered three-year terms, five of them from equally populated districts, four of them from across the county. Freeholders are the legislative branch of county government. They make laws, vote on resolutions, approve or reject the spending, budget, and other proposals of the executive branch or the county executive. We work hand in hand on issues. Um, of course, there's going to be things we don't always agree on, but the key is working together. Um, usually, we all have the same goal and place we want to be um, at the end. Um, it's just a matter of how do we get there. So what they have is negative power. They can say no and uh, basically we propose they dispose. Dennis Levinson is the Atlantic County Executive, sort of the president of the county. What are the duties of the county executive? We run the county from soup to nuts. Uh, we run the, uh, we have 375 miles of roads, 175 bridges, we have our community college, we have uh, the uh, Atlantic County Utilities Authority, we, uh, we run day-to-day -day activities. Things are getting better right now. Uh, because of our frugality through the years, we were able to finance uh, Stockton University coming into Atlantic City. Now, Stockton University is a state university. The state was in no position to finance them. We wanted them here. We knew that this was something that was extremely important for the uh, county and for, uh, uh, for Atlantic City, so we put the full faith and credit of our county behind it. And the, the, the state of New Jersey couldn't finance it because during the Christie years, uh, they, uh, the bond rating was downgraded 11 times, which, by the way, is a United States uh, record. New Jersey counties have three forms of government, Atlantic, Bergen, Essex, Hudson, and Mercer, have the freeholder executive form. Union County's freeholders select the manager who can veto some of their actions. The other 15 counties have freeholders, three to nine members depending on population. They appoint a chair or president, and the freeholders themselves take on the executive branch duties, such as running different departments. And there's really been a movement away from that model of because. management. Because it's the diffuse responsibility. The public likes to have an executive, good, bad, or indifferent. There's a body that they can yell at, they can applaud. So unaccountable. So and, and accountable. Yes, correct. And also, generally, that executive tends to know a lot more about the government as a whole than a freeholder who knows something about a department but may not know a whole lot more about another department. The state constitution mandates county voters elect surrogates, sheriffs, clerks, and registers of deeds and mortgages. Counties, not municipalities, handle applications for public assistance and much more. We, as a county government, provide services to those who can't help themselves. That's what we're here for, to help them. And we have so many services that, you know, people just aren't aware of and they don't take advantage of, and um, we're here to help. And that's the message I'm always trying to get out to people when I'm talking to them about what exactly do we do. But some critics have urged eliminating county governments altogether because they believe cities and the state can deliver services at a savings to taxpayers. The New Jersey Association of Counties says just the opposite. County governments are playing a, a growing role in the everyday lives of New Jersey residents. So to me, I think we're at a critical point where county government is strong because of legislation 50 years ago, because of, of the 2% cap uh, restriction that was imposed back in 2010 on all local governments, which is making it difficult for municipalities and school districts, more so than counties, to manage their affairs. And then in 2017, another law that paced placed a cap within the cap on these independent autonomous agencies, whether it's our constitutional officers, prosecutors, some of these independent boards of which are appointed by the governor with the advice and consent um, of the Senate. So I think county government is, is very well positioned to move forward as a regional form of government to deliver these services in a more effective and an efficient manner. County governments taking on more municipal duties from tax assessing in Gloucester to 911 services across the state to policing in Camden. Michael Hill, NJTV News.